Ajac 1998 called. It wants its amp shootout back. Hey everyone, I'm Jack Fawcett and welcome to this amplifier shootout between the Fender Blues Junior and the PV Classic 30. Two old, long-lasting, gig-friendly, kind of workhorse tube amps. Now, they're quite different for as similar as they are, so some of you might be asking the question, why shoot these two out? Some of you might even be saying apples and oranges. Don't say apples and oranges. It's a terrible phrase. I don't want to have to make fun of you for saying it, but I will if I absolutely have to. Let's not go down that road. The reason I wanted to shoot these two amplifiers out is very simple. There are a lot of players looking at one or the other, and they are similar size, similar functionality, similar demographic, and most importantly, especially if you're talking on the used market, similar price. So many players might be looking at, geez, which one do I get? Which one would suit my needs better? It's not entirely a fair shootout, though. Functionality-wise, it clearly goes to the Classic 30. And the Classic 30, when it comes to functionality features, is actually closer to the bigger brothers of the Blues Junior, being either the Blues Deluxe or the Hot Rod Deluxe. It's actually probably closer to the Hot Rod Deluxe. Now, as I mentioned, beside the price, they are similar in size, they're kind of similar in weight, they're similar in basic setup, right? They even look pretty similar. They're about the same size. They have the tweed finishing, at least this Blues Junior does, while each amp has had different style options in the past. The Blues Junior is much more straightforward. It's kind of a one-channel amp, but then it's got its boost, which kind of kicks up the gain, punches up the mids and the bass a little bit, and really gives you more grit and more drive to work with. The Classic 30 is an actual dedicated two-channel amplifier and then also has a boost, whereas the boost on that one is just more of a dedicated volume boost. They each have reverb, they each have foot switching capabilities, although the PV Classic 30 has more extensive foot switching capabilities, and also has the effects loop. Again, much more similar to the Blues Deluxe or Hot Rod Deluxe, notwithstanding the fact that it's also 30 watts as opposed to the Blues Junior's 15 watts. One interesting bit of information about these two is that they both use EL84s, which is more traditionally used with a British sounding amplifier, but is also found in a handful of American, particularly small, gig-friendly, American-style tube amplifiers. All that being said, tonally, 
they have some similarities. They each have kind of a classic American amp feel, whereas they really suit their names. The Blues Junior, to me, works better in a blues setting. The Classic 30 kind of works better for like a classic rock style setup. It's got a little bit more drive. It has a bit more clarity. The Blues Junior has more roundness and a sort of a softer kind of attack to it. Interestingly, I kind of think the PV Classic 30 is almost like generic tube amp. That's just what I get from it. It's got a, you know, a really nice, even sounding clean tone and then a sort of distortion overdrive-esque drive channel, whereas the Blues Junior is more its own thing. I think the most versatile sound out of either of these two amps is probably the Classic 30 on the clean channel, and then you could use that as a pedal platform. But I think the Blues Junior has a little more charm. It has a little bit more life to it. I think it's easier to dial in a bad tone with the Blues Junior, but when you dial in the right tone, I thought it had a bit more character. Again, the Classic 30, for as great as an amp as it is, it doesn't really have its own character. It's kind of tube amp is what it is. Now, I do want to mention that neither of these amps are entirely current. This is a Blues Junior 3 limited edition with the Jensen C12N speaker. This one is still available while it's not the current production Blues Junior that's out there. The current production is the Blues Junior 4. This is a slightly older Classic 30 as well that also has a speaker that is a bit different than the one that comes in it now. Each amp, though, really captures what the amp is all about. You know, if you play Classic 30, it's going to sound like a Classic 30. There might be some little differences between, you know, an older one or a newer one. Same with the Blues Junior. If you play an older Blues Junior versus a new Blues Junior, it might have some little idiosyncrasies, might have some little differences, but I've never heard a Blues Junior that didn't sound like a Blues Junior, if that makes sense. Now, today, to show off these amplifiers, I am using a custom Fender HSS Strat, not a custom shop, it's one that I customized. I'm using this one guitar with a fat Strat setup. Let's retire that name. I don't think that's appropriate. That's Strat shaming is what that is. Many of you who follow me know that I've never really been that into HSS Strats, but hey, it's a new year, it's a new me. So we're gonna dive in with this guitar to give you both single coil tones and humbucking tones. This is a great set of righteous sound matched pickups in it that I'm going to go over this guitar in another video coming up. But I'm using this guitar directly into the amps. I'm not going to use any pedals, not going to use anything. Just going to give you a character profile on each amplifier on some of the tones that I think many of you might be using them for. So we're going to go clean, we're going to go mildly overdriven, and then we're going to go heavy overdrive. And I am going to dial the amps in at similar levels of gain as far as what they do. However, I am dialing them in differently EQ-wise and kind of going with the tones that I would use as far as the best way to dial them in. Now, the Classic 30 obviously has a much higher level of gain that you can achieve with it. Again, it gets much more into, like, distortion territory. The downside with the Classic 30 is if you push the gain too much, it gets very grainy, very gainy, grainy just not really pleasant or smooth. I think it definitely sounds better if you push the post and keep the pre back a little bit to kind of keep them balanced. The Blues Junior doesn't have nearly as much a level of gain. It again has more that classic overdrive sound, which can sound really smooth and nice, but if you don't dial it in right, if you use too much treble or too much mids, it can sound boxy. It can sound very, very harsh. I heard someone describe it once as it can be like brushing your teeth with a metal rake, and I thought, boy, is that a good metaphor. So let's test out both of these amplifiers on a number of different settings, again, using different pickup configurations in the guitar. Let us know in the comments, which one do you prefer? Does one really stand out to you as better than the other? Do you dislike them both? Do you love them both? Please let us know. I'm Jack Fawcett. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video.